second question the x-ray given along represents which of the following condition now you have first of all an x-ray of the lower limb lag to raha there is some tibia some fibula some lateral view some some metatarsals i can see sala isko kya ho gaya i don't know what has happened to this i don't know what has happened to this the joint is distorted disorganized debris and distended <laughs> it's a clear cut neuropathic joint disease also called as charcot's joint most common cause in a country like india diabetes mellitus loss of posterior column but did they ask this in the question no what have they asked they have asked what is this procedure that we have done we have put a retrocalcaneal nail and that nail is spanning not only the subtalar joint but also the tibiotalar joint thus crossing the ankle mortis and it is going up into the distal most part of the tibia and after that we have fixed it with a couple of screws we have spanned certain joints we have fused certain joints we have done it who are we surgeons surgical fusion of a joint that is what is called as arthrodesis surgical fusion of a joint that is what is called as arthrodesis so surgical fusion of joint arthrodesis what is arthroplasty then surgical replacement surgical replacement of a joint can you see that arthrodesis what is arthrotomy arthro joint tomy opening up of a joint via big wide incision so this is surgical opening of a joint via wide incision so you give a big wide incision and you open a joint then you irrigate debride lavage whatever ankylosis this is pathological this is pathological fusion of a joint so correct answer is certainly arthrodesis <clears throat> moving over to the next question lunate bone osteonecrosis hold on ha huh? lunate bone osteonecrosis is also known as now these are certain uh, one liners to be very honest uh, uh, they are asked often and there is no other way except to you know mug them up there is no other way so kohler is osteonecrosis of what lunate kienbock is osteonecrosis of what now this is one common confusion that occurs always between kohler and kienbock kohler is osteonecrosis of navicular remember it's a tarsal bone kienbock is also necrosis of lunate that's a carpal bone okay always 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 remember this freiberg is an osteo necrosis of second metatarsal usually the head of the second metatarsal perthes is osteo necrosis or osteochondritis of the femoral head i would like to add one more osteo necrosis here that is called panners banners disease all of them are diseases kohler disease kienbock disease freiberg disease banner is an osteonecrosis of this bone called capitulum so you have to remember this as well this is important four five osteonecrosis you should know which of the following vertebral fractures and walls disruption of ligaments of anterior middle and posterior columns all three columns disrupted in one shot let's take first of all clay shoveler this is an avulsion fracture this is an avulsion fracture of tip of spinous process of c7 followed by t1 avulsion fracture of tip of spinous process of c7 followed by t1 all right 
wedge compression fracture can occur due to trauma it can occur due to osteoporosis it can occur due to many things okay but yes this is a wedge fracture okay this is a wedge fracture anterior wedge posterior wedge you can have different shapes jefferson is a burst fracture of a ring of c1 that is atlas involving uh, both the arches like anterior arch as well as posterior arch okay chans fracture is one fracture which is through all three columns by the way this is also called as seat belt injury this is also called as jack knife injury all right so it is a fracture horizontal fracture to be precise running across all three columns of spine it breaks off all three columns in one shot just like a you know jack fruit is cut by jack knife in one shot sart so something like that very unstable fracture very poor prognosis answer is chance fracture i hope you remember